So you might be wondering why I'm sat here doing some push-ups. And no, I'm not about to run a marathon, but I am about to go into the snow biome. Welcome back to episode 4 of Raptors Evolved. As you can see, uh, my raptor here is uh, he's not, not too sure about my technique on the push-ups. But anyway, welcome back to episode 4. Thank you guys so, so much for support on this series so far. Uh, as always, I know I always say every episode, but I, it really does mean a lot. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, today, we've got a busy episode, which is why I have already cleared out the metal on Herbivore Island to save you guys 20 minutes of uh, co great content there of me running back and forth. So we've got a bit of metal on these forges right there. This is not too bad amount of metal on this island as long as it respawns. I'm hoping by keeping like the base mainly down here it should do. Um, but yes, the main thing I want to do today is to try and make ourselves an egg incubator. Um, now, I want to get mutations going next episode and I've come to a, a compromise where I think is is fair so people have always been asking me if i'm going to be using the soul terminal for mutations or going to eat or egg incubator now normally i don't use dino storage mod um i use the egg incubator mod which makes getting mutations a lot harder so what we're going to do is we're going to do the majority of next episode using the egg incubator i'm going to show you guys how i would normally get my mutations because i believe that's fair to everyone on console you know i'm aware that a lot of my viewers might be on console and of course until august when we hopefully get arc survival ascended and mods go cross-platform there will be no dino storage mod um so my thinking is we will start off with the egg incubator and uh from there we will go forwards and by the end of the episode we're going to move on to the uh to the soul terminal which i have never used before but I have watched a little bit of content on it and it, it does indeed look quite a bit easier to get mutations. Um, people have asked if we're going to max out uh, the raptor's stats. Uh, not at first. Maybe by the end we will. But if we just max out all the raptor's stats on the island and then we just go forward, it's going to be boring. So we'll, we'll get to a point where I think we can do the island. We'll do the island. We'll go aberration. We'll see how we do on aberration. We'll, oh, sorry, we'll center first, but... Not too worried about the center. Aberration, then we've got... Was it I know it was Extinction story-wise. I can't remember if we got another free map in between Scorched Earth and Aberration. I feel like we... Yeah, we got Rag. Ragnarok. Of course we did. Of course we did. We got Ragnarok. Um, so, yes. That that should be... Uh, should have plenty of uh, content to get through in, in the upcoming season. So, which Raptor... I think we're going to be taking Mikhail Kanop again, who... Uh, He's already died once on this challenge. Um, so, hopefully he fares a bit better this time. So, we need to prepare the raft. Uh, and first of all, I'm not going to go into the snow in, in cloth armor. That would be a uh, utterly stupid thing to do. So, let's see. it. Let's, let's, uh, we could make flak. We could make flak. I can't remember if it, what the insulation is on flak compared to hide. Like, I think it's slightly... It's not quite as warm as hide, but it is quite warm. I could be wrong, though. What's, let's check hide. So hide is minus five. Flak is minus four, minus seven on the legs, minus seven on the chest, minus three. And what's hide on the shirt? Oh, okay. So if you get a full flak set, it's better. Let's make flak. Let's honestly, let's just upgrade ourselves. Let's treat ourselves to some flak. I think we deserve it. I think we deserve it, but I'm going to need to get some hide from the raptors first, and then we will make ourselves a full flak set. Which is going to look great in the thumbnail as well. I'm already planning it out. Right, there we go. Let's get some hide. But yes, thank you all so much for the support on the first couple of episodes of Raptors Evolved. It does, really does mean a lot. And we type in flak here. Oh, there we go. A nice full set of flak. And can we... Ooh, can we make a water jar? Do I have any... I don't think I have any cementing paste. I used it. every last drop of cemented paste. Hang on, no, from the beef is right. I must have some spare. There must be some over here. Because right, I'm going to. We want to make a water jar. We're not quite at canteen though. Yeah, my paste is all there. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see if we can get a water jar. Have I unlocked water jar yet? No, I have not. Water jar. There we go. Okay. Sure, we must have the necessary resources. There we go. All right. Flak water jar. I've got some cooked meat. Do I have some? I do have a campfire here. Yeah, we've got some more cooked meat there. And then we need to put some standing torches on our raft. And then we should be good to go into the snow biome. I do have 20 fortitude as well. Um, so, I, well, my opinion on fortitude is it's a really, really underrated stat. Uh, I'm a big believer in fortitude. Perhaps this is what the no damage challenges do to me, to be honest. Because, you know, fortitude is what makes those challenges possible. Um, 
But yeah, I do believe Fortitude's good. And obviously, we're going to need to be pumping Fortitude mega when it comes to the Tech Cave. Because we don't want to have any uh, repeats of what happened when we tried this as a 100 days challenge. Um, long time viewers may know that the Tech Cave is a little bit cold and I may have underestimated it. So, without further ado, we need to make some standing torches, don't we? Let's make some S plus standing torches, just to keep ourselves warm in that snow biome. Just means that the raft... And then we need to make ourselves a bed, I reckon, as well. Do we make some more? Alright, that's good. We're making, making some good progress on the torches. Do we need anything else for the raft? Or storage boxes. We need. We could need some storage boxes for for certain. In fact, a smithy would be best. I do worry though that it will break. One thousand five hundred health. Would it get one shot by a lead sick fees? I'm trying to think. We could box it in. Boxing the raft in is another option. And um, might be the smarter option. So maybe maybe we'll do that. Uh. Or we could just put it there. It does, look, it does look pretty good right there. Let's put it there and see what happens. The worst case, we get some amazing content when I'm coming back from the snow biome with all my organic polymer, all my crystal, and then I lose it all. That, that's very, very possible that it could happen. Do we? So I think we're going to leave the rest of these raptors at base, honestly. Um, because we can't risk losing our stats. So we have 42 health, and there's the 47 melee. Um, did I... So what was the else that was... So I'm making something else. Oh, I got the standing torches in my inventory. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to go now to set off and see what we need for the egg incubator. So we let's double check. So for the S plus incubator, we need 350 polymer. Obviously, we're going to go get, kill penguins for that. Island is not the best. We should get enough polymer, but raptors are not the best thing for harvesting uh, polymer with, believe it or not. 500 metal ingots. We have that crafting at base. 250 electronics, we're going to need to kill some tech dinos, 200 crystal and 100 pace. Okay, so let's aim to come back with the polymer and the crystal. And if we see any tech dinos along the shore, we're going to have to take them out for their electronics as well. So let's put this here. In fact, no, I need to put this around the driver really, don't I, to keep me warm. Let's see if I pick these up. One more there. And one in the middle. Right. Without further ado, we will see you later, Herbivore Island, and let's set off on our uh, adventure. I don't believe there's anything more to discuss right now, so I, I guess I'll come back to you guys when we're in the snow biome or something of interest has happened, and hopefully it's not me bumping into a lead sick feast. That would be, uh, that would be very sad. Oh, no. Oh, already? Really? I've just left Herbivore Island. Give me a break. Oh. I was actually considering... Hang on. Oh. Come on, surely it's too... It's too yeah, it's too shallow for you now. Thank you very much. Um, I was also considering making a motorboat. Because I feel like it would be a very good investment. Um... But first, we we need a lot of stuff, don't we? I'm looking at those 60 black pearls in particular, thinking, on the island, that's not an easy thing to get. 1,200. Yeah, the rest of it's not too bad. Apart from metal would take some time, but we just got to make sure those forges are always burning, honestly. Got to make sure these forges are also burning, always burning. I am currently doing this challenge on single player, um, which means that when I'm offline, the forges won't keep going. Maybe this is something we can look at changing down the line. Um... I'm pretty sure I can move the saves over to a like a hosted server, like I'm partnered with G Portal. So if you want to get yourself an Arc server, for example, uh, link in the description below. And of course, if you want to come play on the Rampy sub servers for Minecraft or Arc, uh, look at me. Uh, look either it is open to Twitch subs and to Patreon supporters. So there's links to oh, there's a Tech Parasol. Uh, links to both of those in the description below, and uh, you can check those out and come join the Discord. The Discord is the community, community hub, right. Let's um, take you out because I need your electronics, my friend. 55. Eh, it could, could have been worse. Could have been worse. I think it's like 200 electronics was it I need. Let's see if we can get up on this rock. 
I'm having flashbacks already. I know this thing, exact same thing happened in the last episode. Oh, yes. Look at that. Great stuff. Right. Let's stick to the beach. Avoid the lead six bees. And I will see you guys back this time, hopefully, when we are actually at the snow biome. All right. So we're back. And uh, as we are just approaching the snow biome, the standing torches have just turned on. As it has just gone past half past eight in the evening on day 14 on the western coast. As you can see, this is what I always call Alpha Corner. Uh, it doesn't actually look like there's any alphas there right now, which is doing the name great justice, I know. Oh, gamma, free for you all soon. See a little bit better. Um, what have we got over there? Raptors, sabers. Ooh, it's a megalodon. Always a lead six feet at first. Right, so we're going to start off with the polymer. Difficult to know how cold the snow biome is at the moment because... Uh, obviously, the torches are keeping me warm. So hopefully we're not... Oh, it's minus eight. According to my HUD. So hopefully we don't lose uh, health too quickly. And we got we can get some polymer and we can dip out of this situation nice and quickly. I do want to get some crystal, but that might have to wait till the next morning. I think probably traipsing up blue obelisk might be our best bet for that. Because blue obelisk is notoriously good for crystal. It's one of the best spots on the map for crystal. We need 200 crystal, which we're not... Oh, I don't know where else we could get it from. We could get it on one of the mountains on the way back from base. We could get some at Blue Obelisk. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Let's focus on getting the polymer first. We can use the polymer to make a couple of other different things. So, ideally, we want about sort of 600, 700 polymer. I want to make some canteens. I want to make uh, the sole terminal, I believe, also needs polymer. Oh, it's only nine. Only nine polymer. That's not too bad. Okay. That's fine. The Soul Terminal is extremely cheap. So I really am going out of my way to make this egg incubator right now. We could already be on the mutation grind, but I know it's been heavily requested on some of my 100 Days videos that people want me to go a bit more in-depth on my mutation. So that's why, just for you guys, we're going to go that extra mile and we're going to spend an episode <laughs> traipsing through the snow biome. So let's... There's some penguins to start with on this. Like mini iceberg. This iceberg in the back used to be a really cool location to build back in the day. I remember that. I remember that iceberg. Right, let's see what we can do. So we are freezing, as expected. Oh, we're freezing pretty fast, actually, as well. Okay. Well, luckily, we can just retreat back to the raft. How much polymer? 30, 30 polymer per penguin. That's not too bad. Some will give me a bit less, I'm sure. Some will give me a bit more. That's all right. We can definitely deal... I can definitely deal with 30, 30 polymer, to be honest. I'm going to drop all the meats just so i got a bit of extra weight. There we go. Good stuff. That's quite a lot of polymer already, actually, right there. I wrapped to harvest more than I thought. This will be less painful than I was imagining, which is good. Which is very good. I'm glad about that. Uh, how much polymer did we get there? 220? Is that really it? Well, I thought we got a little bit more than that, but I guess not. I guess not. That's fine. All right, back to the raft we go. 220 polymer down. Almost halfway. Almost halfway for the, what I call a good, and we need to go back to the raft actually as we're freezing. So that's fine. That is fine. Hopefully I'm still not freezing on the raft. No, we're not. We're not. It's like this one. We're cold though, so it obviously is, oh, when we're driving... We're not cold. It's, it's great. The standing torches, guys, and, and rafts are your best way to survive in the snow biome overnight. So let's make our way to the next penguin iceberg while I get through the maze that is the, ice, the mini icebergs. And uh, I'll get back to you once we're there. And it might also be daytime by then. So we have just arrived at, well, this is what I'd always call one of the best icebergs for penguins. Because if you go here and then you go right around the back, there's penguins. And then there's that big one ahead, which is also good. Um, but I'm not sure we'll be able to step off this island until it gets a bit warmer. Because it is now currently, let me take my awesome spyglass off. It's minus 10. It's a bit, bit cold out here. So I might just stay in my sanctuary of the raft and uh, come back when it's daytime and a little bit warmer. Well, it's now 6am and uh, my torches have actually just turned off, which means that I'm freezing again. But clearly it's going to be a lot, a lot warmer. We won't be losing quite as much health. Let's put an extra point in fortitude just so we can, we can really, uh, how quickly are we losing health? Yeah, not nowhere near as quickly as we were earlier. That's good. 
Um, well, I have 51 metal on this raptor. Didn't realise that. Uh, I'll take the oil as well. We'll drop everything else. See how much... Let's see if we can get all the, all the necessary polymer here that's needed. For the 35. But I believe... The, I always thought that the baby penguins are most give the most polymer. But I'm not sure that's true. Maybe that's an, maybe that's an urban arc myth. Let me know in the comments. I want to know. Is that an urban arc myth that baby baby penguins give the most polymer? It's a good myth, if so. 37 that juvenile gave. Maybe it's juveniles that give the most. Well, that juvenile gave me 24. I'm uh, debunking my own myths right here on the spot. Nice explorer note. Three more points. Level, level a bit, of, bit more weight on the raptor. Raw meat. Drop the raw. Right. This should be, I think, enough organic polymer now. That we can go home with. We are going to have to wait, though. Until it gets a bit warmer. And then we'll go in, up towards Blue Obelisk for Crystal. Because I want to do it. It's going to be an adventure. It's, you know, this is, this is what the... The whole challenge is about managing to traverse the map with just raptors when, let's be honest, no one's going to ride a raptor up to Blue Obelisk, are they? It's just, it's just not the done thing. Right, 418 there. That's pretty good. Right, so. Maybe we grab a little bit more at the next iceberg, actually. I want to make, can we make a torch? Stone and wood. All right, so we're a little bit off being able to do that. Let's get on our travels again. Um, we'll maybe get a top up of polymer on our way back, but we need to... First of all, find a nice spot where I can park the raft safely as we make our way up Blue Obelisk. Because I think the, the path to Blue Obelisk is on the other side of the map as well. So let's see. Let's get past these uh, icebergs. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys back when we're uh, when we're going up to blue, towards Blue Obelisk. Alright, so arriving into the coast now, the path to Blue Obelisk can be seen up there. Oh, there's a Sarko. That's a bit annoying. No, oh, yep, he's aggroed on me. He's aggroed on me. Oh, it's not good. It's really not good. It's really not good. Raptor, help. Help. Oh, I got on him. I got back on him. I got back on him. I'm off him. You got the Sarko. We got the Sarko. Okay. Uh, this is almost... This has turned into a bit of a disaster. Not quite sure how we're alive, but we are. And that's the main thing, right? Okay. So how is that saber gaining torpor? Oh, because I've been punching it. That's why. Alright. Well, we're alive. Anyway, as I was about to say before we were very rudely interrupted, is that uh, we've got to come up with a plan where... Let's have a look at the health on the smithy. Uh, it's gone down again. Okay. Savable, savable. Um, I've got to put all this weight away. As I need to make it up to the mountain, grab myself some crystal and get back down. Um, and first of all, I need to make some torches for that. Some that should be possible. Let's see if we make a couple of torches. What do I need for a torch again? Right, well, I've j oh, I've I just need wood. Is that in stone, right? Okay, let's make a couple of torches. And let's put the first one on the raptor saddle. So, cause, and then I believe I can hold one as well myself. And that should... We're still freezing. We're, we're just freezing. We're literally just freezing. That is, that is rather frustrating. There's not really much else we can do. All right, we've got the polymer. I think our best bet at this point now is to sail round the map. Uh, so I'm going to have to make some more standing torches. Is to sail round the map and get the crystal from the northeast mountain or from Obsidian Mountain. 
that there. Both of those would be good sources of crystal. So we're basically going back the complete opposite way that we came up from Herbivore Island. It is unfortunate that Blue Obelisk is literally the other side of the map from Herbivore Island, but we've got the polymer. We can't complain too much. Let's not be too greedy. Let's get home. Maybe even get some obsidian on our way back as well. So we can we can stock up on our on the resources that we need. Sounds good. Right, I will see you guys when we have got hopefully the when we're about to get the crystal. Alright, so we have arrived on the uh, the shores of the northeast mountain. So this is the one where we got some obsidian from earlier on in the challenge. And now I believe we can get some crystal from this one as well. Or oh, is the crystal all just at the top of this mountain? I can't remember. I know this crit, but <laughs> I don't when we had when I had raptors only before in my hundred days, we I tried so hard to get to the top of this mountain on a raptor and just couldn't do it, okay? Watch out for a Giga. That would be a uh, that would be that would be a nightmare. Gigas do spawn quite commonly around here. So there's a Rex there, 20 or 25. Not too worried about that. Not too worried. I think if we go over towards this section of the mountain, I believe there should be some crystal. So let, let's go. Let's go and have a look. See what we can. In fact, this mountain. Maybe it's obsidian that. No, I can't remember. I don't know. Hopefully, we can find some crystal fairly fast. Anyway. Have I, have I just made it to the top of this mountain? Well, it's clearly absolutely useless at doing it before because I smashed it now. Um, is that a dead raptor? It's a dead rex. Oh, wow. You are very nice looking, my friend. But you are also now dead. Um, right, let's... How hostile are we looking at the top of this mountain? Oh, there's the crystal. There's the good old crystal. Oh, dear. Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off the mountain. I would be very upset if you did that, Sabertooths. It's a 1v4. Please! One dead. Two dead. He's just eating his brother to heal up. That's cheating. He's eating his other brother to heal up. This is... Oh, it's a, it's disgusting. Your mind level 70 Sabre. Easy. Alright. Good stuff. Sabres are gone. Let's just go over the top of this mountain and see the Giga that's looming for us. And we're in the clear. Great stuff. The crystal is all ours. And now we'll just have to see how much we can actually carry back down the mountain. The, like said, the aim is 200. I don't think we can carry 200. Well, unless I parachute from the top and get the raptor on, on follow. That would be a, that would be a big play. Could be an option. It would be an option, but I don't even think I can craft a parachute. What do I need? Okay, we can get, we can get, we got hide. Is it just fiber that I needed? Maybe that's the play. I'm pretty sure the raft was just over there, right? Is there any way the raptor's going to keep up with me? Let's have, let's, let's have a go, shall we? Let's have a go. Let's see. And then I can bring a bit of extra crystal back. Because what's, what's the raptor's weight without... Oh, yeah. Oh, easy. Right, that's the way to go. More crystal is always good, guys. Right, I'm going to turn it on lowest following distance. Right, come here, you. We're going on an adventure. You're coming all the way, mate. Let's go, Raptor. Raptor. There we go. I'm going to drop a bit lower so we make sure we're in render of him. Past the Carno and the couple of Rexes. Very nice. Let's go, Raptor. Make sure he's on passive. I am now out of parachutes, by the way, so uh, it's not looking good. Okay, he's tanking the Carno at the moment. He's just sprinting. Let's go, Raptor. 
It's, it's, it's a great effort, to be fair. It's a truly great effort. I'm starting to get a bit worried that this was a bad idea. Come on, Raptor. Oh, there's a Rex down there as well. What level is that Rex? 95. Not ideal. If the Raptor gets stuck in the trees, we are in big trouble. So far, it's looking good, though. It's looking very good. Oh, what a, what a big brain play this has been. Right, so the... Uh, we're going to fall, fall into the water. It's not an Alpha Carno, is it? Yeah, it's just a level 90 Carno. Raptors are far superior swimmers than Carno. I will drop down here. Raptors there. And we're all good. We are all good. I'm a bit slow... We're a bit slower swimming right now, mainly because I've got all that crystal on me. But it should be fine. No megalodons around. Right, this raptor's pushing. Raptor, are you trying to kill me? Raptor! He's, the raptor's just trying. He's just. I've just been attempted. They tried to drown me. Right, raptor. Come on. This way. Almost at the raft now. Then I'll drop my crystal off in the smithy. And we should be good to go. There we go. What a what a big brain play. What a big brain play that was. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big trouble. Right. We can't actually move, but we should be able to bite. Hmm. We can't turn around though. It's a bit of an issue. Right, we're, we're making progress. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Easy, got it in the bag. There we go, dead Carno. Great stuff. Right, let me drop this crystal off and then we can set off sail uh, to home. I don't think there's anything else we need to get. Let's double check. Oh, we need, we could need some more electronics still, don't we? Let's take, so take this crystal off. We do need some more electronics. So I guess if we see any tech dinos on the way back, that's fine. We can we can always just drop the drop the raft off, drop the crystal off, uh, drop all the resources back off at base, and then set off to look for tech dinos. I'm sure we can locate tech dinos fairly quickly. Tech parasaurs are pretty common. Tech rexes on the other hand, I mean, I wouldn't mind a tech rex. They they would give quite a nice amount of electronics. Anyway, I will probably see you back on Herbivore Island. Well. Just driving back through the swamp, and um, Capro's got my raptor. Get him. Ah, we're in trouble. It's a baryonyx as well. Um, raptor. Ah, it's not looking good, is it? Um, crossbow. Arrows. Uh, go. Alright, oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Right, let me, let me see if I can ping these. Let me get right on top of these Capros. I don't want them to break my smithy, though. You can't even, like, just have a leisurely raft back to base these days. Right, we've missed the first. Hit the Capro. Hit the Capro again. No, we've hit the Baryonyx that time. Hit the Baryonyx again, I think. What, is that a 145 Caprasuchus? No, it's level 15. Okay. It's alright. Capro's dead. Get him, Raptor. Raptor, neutral. No. Baryonyx, no. Not the Smithy. Not the Smithy. I'm on a raft. I am on a raft. Come on. Raptor, please. Oh, I've missed again. Oh, you're just having a you're having a laugh, aren't you? I'm pretty sure the Baryonyx ate the Capro's body and healed up as well. Right. There's only one thing to do. To land.
That's me and Raptor I've just hit. Nice one, Rampy. Let's go, Raptor. Nope. He just keeps unlocking my Raptor. Oh no, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Alright, two more. Two more. What's this? This challenge is ridiculous. I'm just trying to get back to base. And I've almost lost another raptor. It's not even like a lead six feet. I'm just strolling along here, minding my own business. Next thing you know, I look, my raptor's gone. And there's a cap pro doing, doing 360 circles with my raptor. Unbelievable. All right. Well, I will hopefully see you back at base uh, in one piece, but um, I, I can't promise that. All right. Well, we're still currently alive, but we are approaching Herbivore Island now, and I know there's two lead sickfies around here, so hopefully we can avoid them. Where where was the lead that we left earlier? It was somewhere over there, wasn't it? Basilo there. All right. We might just might be in the clear. I still got to swim all the way back across with a raptor to get enough electronics to finish making to finish making the egg incubator. Because next episode, like I said, we need to crack up into mutations. That is the main goal of the next episode. Right, we appear to be we here appear to be all in the clear. No, oh, some megalodon that scared me. That did scare me. All right, we're all good. Back at base. In one piece, somehow. Somehow in one piece after a very eventful trip to the snow biome. Let's unload our stuff back at base and see what we're lacking. I think it's just electronics we're going to need, though. But I am going to need to get that quickly because this organic polymer is going to be spoiling. Oh, I need to make some gas, actually, as well. All right, let's, uh, let's take as much of this as we can. I'm going to take electronics, crystal. I'm going to grab that oil as well. Um, right, come on then, Raptor, you follow me. You need you need a well-deserved break, but the problem is I don't really have a spare Raptor at the moment. I mean, I've got Fresh, but Fresh isn't exactly the best Raptor. No offence, Fresh, no offence. Oh, we've still got one of these going. All right, oil. Good stuff, just need a little bit more wood. We can have some gasoline going. All right, thank you, thank you very much, Raptor. Let's put the crystal into the fabricator along with the electronics. Am I even going to have enough metal for the egg incubator? We might just be short. Okay, oh, no, we, we actually will have enough metal. I will fill these forges up again, though. Um, yeah, it might be that we have to make the egg incubator right at the start of the next episode. But if we do, that's not a problem. Let's unload all this polymer. See what we're... See what we're lacking, shall we? All right, let's put a bit on this raptor. Put a couple hundred crystal on there. Come on, raptor. See what we are behind on. Right, polymer. 612 polymer. That, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good enough. Let's check for gas. We made, some, made 10 gas there. That's good. Is the soul terminal made in here? Where is the soul terminal made? Oh, it's made in the inventory? Wow, that's the most arc modded thing I've ever seen. This, this does not look like a type of uh, thing that should be made in an inventory. All right, we've made a soul... Well, I'll make a soul terminal. Well, we've got the polymer. Um, and now let's have a look. What do we need for an egg incubator? It's just electronics we're short of. All right, that's good. That's good. Just electronics. We can... We can certainly handle that, I think. We can certainly handle that. So, start of next episode, we will go out, grab some electronics, and then get straight in to the mutations. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching the fourth episode of Raptors Evolved. Uh, thank you so much all for the support on the series so far. If you're still at this, if you've made it this far in the video, um, I want you to comment in the comments. Uh, I love electronics. There we go. Absolutely right. But you know. That is how I can see that you've watched it all the way through. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I do really appreciate it. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you in a couple of days for the next episode.
Bye bye for now. Baby, you gotta let go of the drugs that you're taking.